Hello and welcome to this short primer on making fires in the long dark. We're in the camp office on Mystery Lake, which is quite a nice little location. There are two stoves in this place. We've got a pot bellied stove down here and we've got a slightly larger range upstairs. Before I show you how to make fires, I'll just tell you a little bit about fuel. In these locations you can find reclaimed wood lying about, so you just pick that up quite easily. Um, I could break down this chair for wood. That takes time, 45 minutes but that'll give me three re reclaimed woods. And then you've got things like this newspaper roll. More wood there. Outdoors you find lots of sticks to pick up. There's lots of different types of fuel in the game. But something we will need to do when making a fire is to make tinder. And we can do that most easily at the workbench. If I select this, press X, and then go to the little hand symbol. You'll see we've got some choices. These items with a tick next to them. I can make a tinder plug out of sticks. Craft that with an X. Or I can do another plug down here using a stack of papers this time. Or yes, another one using a newsprint roll. Again, this is all material you just find lying around the place. All right, let's go back to the fire. Now there are four elements to fire lighting. I'll show you these. What you do is just highlight the stove like this, press X. And then we've got the starter, which is wood matches in this case. Got tinder, got a lot of nice choice of tinder plugs here. Fuel. Uh, we've got a book that we picked up. We've got some cedar firewood that we picked up. A bit of fur, a bit of reclaimed wood. Accelerant. We could use some lamp oil. If I go to the top, You'll see that there's no side arrows on this one. That's because the only starter we've got are these wood matches. We'll switch off the accelerant for the time being. There are other starters you can get in the game. You can get fire strikers. You can get cardboard matches. Also, you can get a magnifying glass for, for making a fire outdoors in daytime, if it's sunny, obviously. And you can also light a fire if you're holding a lit flare or a lit torch. If you look at the top right hand corner of the screen, you'll see chance of success is 40% and that will change depending on the on the materials we use. So as I say, we don't have any choice about starter, but if I go down to Tinder and flick between them, you'll see it stayed at 40. If I go to Fuel, it changes depending on the fuel. So Fur Firewood is 45%, Reclaimed Wood is 40, Stick is 60, and the book is 80. And if I choose an accelerant, that immediately goes up to 100%. So let's switch that off. So we've got wood matches, newsprint roll, and the book. And to start the fire, we just press X. There we go, very nice. To add some fuel, I just select the stove again. And I can stick in some cedar firewood, so add that. And you'll see that the heat output has gone up dramatically. It was about one degree or something. And the duration has also gone up. It was about 10 minutes. And now it's gone up to an hour and seven minutes. So that gives us a lot of heat, a lot of cooking time. Right, let us go outside and see about lighting a fire in, in the open. Right, it's blowing a gale. To light a fire outside, you press the left-hand directional button. And it's not going to let me place a fire because it's just too windy out here. So what we have to do is find somewhere that's a bit sheltered. So let's run around the corner. And to find a sheltered spot, we look for an icon at the top of the screen. Keep going. You usually find shelter in a, obviously in a cave or somewhere like that. Or in the lee of a, a rock. Is there going to be anything here? Oh, there we go. That icon has appeared at the top of the screen. It's telling us we've got a bit of shelter here. So let's try at the left directional arrow again. There we go. Now we can build a fire here, so it's gone green. We press R2 to place. And we've got the same choices as we did last time. Wood matches, uh, tinder plug, fuel is book or cedar firewood, or fur, or a stick. Um, our best chance is going to be with the book, I think, isn't it? So let's press X to start the fire. There we go, excellent. That's giving us 12 minutes of fire at 2 degrees. 
If I press X to go back to my menu, I can put in a stick for some more fuel. Another X. And there we go. We've got 18 minutes now and the temperature is going up. So that's how you make the fires. The other thing I ought to say is that if you use the accelerant, not only does that give you 100% chance of success, it makes the process really quick and it does it in about two or three seconds. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that useful. I hope you'll come back for some more. And until I see you again, I shall say goodbye. Okay, cheerio.